next guest's cross-cultural journey from a Pakistani orphanage to an affluent Dutch family rendered her a target for bullying as a child and adolescent. She recounts her struggle in her book, With All My Might. She joins us today to bring some insight into the bullying epidemic. Gabriella, nice to have you here. And it's, it's, just, uh, it's, it's just awful. It, it's embarrassing, and you just... When you're being bullied, you just dread every day, don't you? Was that what it was like for you? You do. I think it's kind of paralyzing because what people don't understand is that bullying is really an extreme form of meanness. Mm -hmm. And the individual feels so isolated. And you're actually picked upon for your uniqueness. But when you get it on a daily basis, it's, you cannot live your life regularly. When did it start happening to you? For me, very, very young, because adopted and living with a predominantly Western world where everyone had blonde hair yeah, uh -huh. yeah. and blue eyes, I'm looking at you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not picking up. I wasn't I blonde originally. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it was just odd to be the odd man out. Right. But it's when you get a little bit older, the children are not as cruel when you're between three and five. They get cooler, I would say, between six and ten, mm -hmm. you know, in that pre pubescent age. What kind of things happen to you? Um, very simple, a uh, lot of racism about skin color, yeah. I picked upon about my height, I used to wear glasses, I ditched the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and especially being, um, you know, attacked for what you're wearing at school. So mm -hmm. because I'm very little, I always <laughs> wore skirts and dresses, so they got ripped off. And Oh my goodness. Uh, situations that are horrendous, but have you seen the bully movie? Yes. In the bully movie, they actually show the most heart-wrenching situations in the school bus, and nobody is really doing anything about it, mm -hmm. neither the educators or the parents. Do you think that part of that has to do with not being really sure what to do? Because yeah. bullying, I think, has escalated. We talk about this a lot. Since social media got involved, and in the Internet age, bullying has escalated and I think aggressions tended to churn up a lot more uh, frequently th these days even than when we were kids but do you think maybe there is a there's sort of just like a they have absolutely no way to pr approach this I mean I, I think there's a deniability both from the teachers and the parents because we don't want to believe that anyone is that mean sure we actually don't mm -hmm. believe it when we hear these horrendous stories but I think there's something else. I think we all need to step up on the plate, meaning if, if it was up to me to eradicate bullying, I would create awareness, which we're doing, mm -hmm. which a bully movie is doing. But there's so many forms of bullying that I would say we need at least 10 more movies. Sure. Because we only had a certain set of kids in the movie, mm -hmm. and they were typical. Um, and there's atypical too. Sure. So that's one. But I think if we could get the victim, the bully, and the bystander together, including the bystander includes friends, parents, and teachers, then we could really create something. We could learn to let them help the victim and the bully and to stand up for them. Mm -hmm. And we don't do that. Well, and there's such a stigma, I think, still to not be a tattletale. And a lot of times kids feel this pressure to keep things under wraps. Even the kids that are being bullied <coughs> feel this pressure to keep things under wraps because they don't want to be labeled that way. But when you watch the bully movie, some of the things that touched me and instantly hit home was that the best friends of the two boys that committed suicide, Tyler and Ty, they knew. Mm -hmm. So if those boys could have understood what the difference is between tattletaling and actually informing, both boys knew that their friend was going to commit suicide. In the writing process of this book, as you were going through it, and I'm sure it helped you work through a lot of issues just from just by writing it, cathartic as they say, uh, were there th some things that you had perhaps buried and not recalled in years that you suddenly remembered as you were putting pen to paper? Unfortunately, I remembered most of it. Did you really? But it was tough to write. Yeah. The, you know, I get invited at schools, and then I talk about that situation where they just isolate you on the playground, mm -hmm. and they really just beat you up mentally mm -hmm. right there and then. And the humiliation, just to rewrite the humiliation was really tough to do. Opens up those wounds that we think as adults we've put behind us. Yes. But unfortunately, I think you carry those scars with you forever that, that happened when you're a child. I, I get the chance now to help educate, and I'm in one of your middle schools this afternoon. Oh, where are you going to be um, visiting? I hope I pronounce it right. It's Mull Rennan. Uh-huh. And I've been invited by the principal called Kim Ducker. Oh, that's fantastic. And I have 
have four schools, uh, four grades, so fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. That's the perfect age to target, I think. I think so too. But even earlier, I, w I wouldn't mind seeing earlier. Mm -hmm. Because if we could actually spend a little bit more time with the bully and understand that they're actually really unhappy kids, mm -hmm. we could actually also eradicate it. What I'm afraid of is if you get victimized so much, what if you end up being a bully? As an adult, which is which happens very common. Like with child abuse, a lot of you know people who are abused wind up becoming abusers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Gabriella, we are completely out of time, but okay. we talk a lot on this show about turning a negative into a positive, and you've certainly done, you've that, certainly done that with this book, uh, with all my might. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.